<clears throat> All right, so right now it's September the 26th. Yesterday was one month since the hurricane landed. I'm looking right now at Langham Creek. I'm underneath the bridge at Barker Cypress and Langham Creek. I've been wanting to get out here and do this. Now I've got a pretty good reason to see in a second. You can see where the, I think you can see. Where there's been 3rd got all the way up to there. And you can see this creek is still pretty full. It's never usually this full. Not only is it full, but it's got a pretty good current going in it right now. See if I can do this without breaking my neck. Yeah, I don't really have a reason to go there. During my earlier hurt videos, during the hurricane, I was sitting right up there, looking back this direction. Let me get that to go focus. Maybe it's a setting, I don't know. Anyways. So, yeah, like I said, you can still see that the water's pretty high. We got a pretty good rain yesterday, and it's been raining around for the last couple of days. Promises to be a rainy week off and on. You can see this dirt's piled up up here. Some of the scarring. You see where the... There's a ledge right there. Where it got up to. See, this is the other thing, too. There's a whole bunch of dammed up areas. This thing flattens out even more into a really shallow... Or did. Into a really shallow creek. A really narrow creek that you could almost straddle. Obviously, that's not the case here. But typically, you can straddle this thing. I want to see the damming and this scarring. It digs it up and it deposits it. This is all dug out. Some of the grass is starting to grow back a little bit, but a lot of this has been dug out. It wasn't quite this bad. See, this is another area where it's been scarred out. And here you can see a little better how that's flat topped over there. You get the level with the bridge.
Here's another area. It's just getting gouged out. This is just the way the water's washing back and forth through there. As it gets a current going. I guess it's maybe like rocking a boat, you know? You see some of the deposits up that way. What you doing, buddy? He's happy. A lot of room to run. This is his favorite thing to do. Look at the silt build up over there. You know, last time I was here, I didn't notice that. So look at the scarring on that. That is weird the way that just washes out right there. Oh, uh, well, it could be because there's that pipe right next to it. It must be creating some kind of a contracurrent. It's where it was swirling back. Anyways, when I pulled up over here, the, uh, they had a, a bridge inspector out there looking at the bridge, one of the bridges behind me. There's two bridges that conver converge right here. Right, this time I'm going to go ahead and come down here. Now, this is Dinner Creek. And that is Langham Creek. And this is where they meet. I really wish I had a... <laughs> wow. I mean, I really wish I had brought myself a ruler. Look at the silt deposits. This is on concrete. I don't know how far down that concrete goes, but I mean, if this is any kind of an indication... Yeah, this is concrete all the way around. Look at this. And it's all silt pit. It's all silted over. Here's the concrete. You get the idea of the slope. And this steps down again right here. So that's at least another foot and a half drop off over to that way. And look back over there. That's a lot of silt buildup right there. And look at this. It's like as high as Skipper is right there thick. As tall as the dog. I don't know how this goes. I, mean, I got my good shoes on. I shouldn't be out here doing this. I wonder if you had a metal detector, what you might find over here. Some beer cans. Anyways, look back over there. And you can see that scarring that's going on that I'm talking about. And then oh, this stuff's spongy.
But yeah, you can see. So anyways, this is just a little taste of what I have up here. So, I don't want to make this a forever video, so let's move this way. Look at that. It's been washed off by the recent rains by the la in the last couple of days, I'm sure. You know, I'm perfectly sure that now that that water cut across here, just look at that, there's a trail over there. It's been flattened off. This is new grass. How you holding up down there, buddy? He just glides over this stuff like it's nothing. Alright. Look at these deposits. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt, right? Look at the scarring on this creek. This is Dinner Creek I'm looking up at. And see, back over there, it's going to join into Langham Creek. Get all that silt build up. Again, this is... There's an, underneath this, this is a little bitty tiny little creek bed that normally I'd be able to straddle. That was nowhere near that wide. That has all been dug. Whoa. Look at this. I almost walked right off. <laughs> Hazards of journalism. Look at this. Look how eaten up that is. It's almost dammed it off. Look at these deposits. Um, don't do that. He's sitting right behind me. I thought I lost him. Look at that. Get up there. Look at it. We're just going to glide right over it like it's nothing. Anyways. You see, it kind of goes down a little bit deeper. You might be able to kind of pick something out there. Look at this. Look how deep these deposits are. There's some contrast here. Look at that. Uh, now it's going to get funky. But again, you can see all of that scarring. Look at how, it's just like somebody took giant bites. All of that silt. Now at one time, whenever I came by here, right after the hurricane, 
And I wish I still had that footage, but it was on the camera that I've lost. Oh yeah, that's for sure. This used to be covered all the way across over to here. But you can still see how tall this is. This, this, and it went all the way out to here. So, see how even that was? And it went all the way over to there. Same over here. This has pretty much lost its current because the water's been dammed up. And there's no current. For all the current that we just saw in Langham, there's almost none in dinner. Let's see what we got here. Look back at that silt that's underneath there. Now, get all that silt that's under there. You can see, get an idea of where that was and how that was. You saw all that silt, all that's dug over that way. Look at those silt deposits right there on that corner too. All right. Look at what's behind this dam. Not on that side, but on this side. Little skipper, stay there. Ah, uh, no. Dog, you've got less sense. you got more heart than sense. I don't know. I need something for scale. Come here. Here, come here, come see. Oh goodness. Here, stay right there. Stay, no, stay right there. Stay right there. Anyways, try to get it for scale. Anyways, those are some pretty high deposits there. And look at this. I mean, it's just, again, it cut a, a plateau right here. Where'd all that silk come from? Hey, look. It's all down here. Dug up and dropped. There's no current back here at all either. I guess it's by design. It's like they're cutting the current back out. go up here around this corner all right so this is why I told my wife that we cannot get rid of the flood insurance Look at how close that was, where it was digging it out, and digging it out, and digging it out. Look at this. Dug out. Gouged, 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 gouged. For all of the no current in there right now, Look at this thing. How much force do you think was coming around that corner? Now it's just a nice calm pond. Look at the way that deposit comes in. 
Look, it actually humps. scarring over there too look at that look at how I mean it's right there it is right there the neighborhoods you go down to get into the neighborhoods you go down about three four foot whenever you get off of when you pull off of that road to go into these neighborhoods, you drop down and to go into the neighborhood, I don't know, maybe three, four foot. So, if that gets to that fence, it's all downhill from there. The thing is, is look at how much water that was pushing through. And whenever I was seeing it this full, that was on Sunday morning that it never stopped raining all day Sunday. When we woke up Monday, it was still raining and it still rained most of, the, most of Sunday too. And it was already full when that happened. It's amazing. Isn't it amazing? He agrees. All right. So anyways, this is just one creek. <laughs> A couple more creeks I'm going to show. This is the one over here at Langham Creek. So I think I'm going to do a, a series at a few different crossings. Because it looks completely different here than it does if you go to Langham Creek down there at Highway 6. The water's still higher over there for all this current that's blowing through. I still can't believe that there's not more current in Dinner Creek. I'm sorry if this is jittery. I'm used to having my other camera, which takes the jitter out. But anyways, so I'm gonna do a couple of series. I'm gonna do a series on a few of these creeks right around here. And uh, you can see some of the damage. Just some of the, I don't know, some of it's just the quirks of mother nature, I guess. Anyways, that's all I got for right now. That's Bridge Inspector. I don't know, maybe he's sitting in his truck because I didn't see him. That's Army Corps of Engineers, I bet. So, anyways, that's all I got for now. If you like it, like it. Please like the video. If you uh, have a comment, anything to add, feel free to do so and uh, if you can I'd appreciate a share if you're not subscribed please subscribe it helps um, it's for sure gonna help me fund me getting a new camera so anyways I appreciate it that's all I got for now hey there he is hey I might see if I can go talk to him see what I can find out anyways that's all I got for now adios